This is Tank Versus, the most bonkers show about which tank is stronger. In the last episode, a vehicle with access to guided missiles won a fight against a vehicle that had to rely on conventional shells. This time, both duelists are capable of shooting ATGMs. It's the experimental MBT-70, which paved the way for the American MBTs of the new generation. And the Chrysanthema missile system, designed specifically to hunt enemy tanks. <laughs> Who's gonna win? Let's find out. The first round takes place in the European province. As usual, our duelists have to find each other first. Nope, you've forgotten that the Chrysanthema is fitted with a radar. They've already scanned the area and found the American vehicle. All that's left is to lock on the target. The MBT-70 still doesn't suspect a thing. No wonder. They're two and a half kilometers away from the opponent. Wait a second, Chrysanthema deploys a smokescreen. And reverses a bit? They've just revealed their position to the opponent. That's just their way of flexing on the enemy. The MBT-70 doesn't have thermals. There's no way for them to see the target. Yeah, they know the approximate position of the opponent, but is that of any help? They take a blind shot into the smoke. No luck. It does not connect. Chrysanthema immediately strikes back. An ATGM flies out of the smoke. Radar doesn't care if there's a smoke screen or not. It can still radar lock. The American vehicle tries to evade the missile. And shoots it down with a well-timed burst of machine gun fire. But there's another one closing in on them. Chris and Tema can control two missiles at once. The MBT tries to shoot the other one down as well, but fails. It's a direct hit. It's harder to do than it seems. The winner of the first round is clear. Chris and Tema MBT-70, 1-0. This time we go to the fields of Normandy. As it might be the decisive round, it's only fitting that it takes place in one of the key locations of World War II. And this time we're in for a slower start. The Chrysanthema sticks to the edge of the battle zone and finds a position next to some houses. The MBT-70 moves through valleys to the center of the map, constantly scanning the surroundings with binoculars. Target spot. It immediately calculates the distance with its laser rangefinder and moves out of cover to deliver the blow. The Chrysanthema finally spots the threat. It creates a smoke wall, trying to replicate the success of the last fight. Fire! I hit right to the middle of the hull. The whole crew is out. If you have no time to reposition your vehicle, smoke screen won't really do much against an enemy who knows where you are. 1-1. One, one. It's time for a truly decisive battle in the sands of Sinai. This fight's gonna be very different. Almost no distance between the duelists from the very start. That's 150, 200 meters max. For these vehicles, that's practically within arm's reach. They almost immediately spot each other. The tank gets ready to fire a missile. That's right, the MBT also has access to ATGMs and wants to give the enemy the taste of their own medicine. The Chrysanthema stops. They're getting ready to launch their missile. It's a missile versus missile kind of situation. But the MBT-7 isn't gonna wait for a direct and easy fire solution. They launch their ATGM on the move and send it round the hill. Beautifully done. No crew left in the enemy vehicle. I think there should be a special achievement for defeating a missile carrier with a missile. Maybe, but the American MBT needs no achievements to prove its superiority. A daring victory in the final round. MBT-70 Chrysanthema, 2-1. The winner of this versus is the MBT-70. See the next episode of Tank vs. next week. We're going back in time. The German Panzer III versus the Soviet T-50. Nearly vertical armor versus sloped armor. Share your predictions in the comments below. <laughs>